I just feel like when I get that far, I feel like just the bike's just gonna slide out. <laughs> you gotta just just give it a little lean, man. You should be good, man. Trust the process, bro. Good, you're close. All right, you guys, welcome back. John's Moto Garage. We have a special guest, Yuan. Always good to see you, bro. And he shows up with these shin guards and knee pads. And the first thing I'm thinking is, dude, you got to put this thing down on a knee, bro. So he's going to try a knee drag. He is, have you ever done it before? No. Never. He watched one of my old videos uh, trying it on my CBR, which was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. But I gave him the quick tutorial. Hey, just just get comfortable real quick. I'm gonna move my car and then we'll uh, we'll reconvene after you after you warm up. Probably get this out of the way. All right, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. We'll let him warm up a little bit and then we'll see see how he does. Have any of you guys tried knee drags on the Honda Grom? It's a little scary at first, especially if you've never done a knee drag before. How, how fast did you go? Let me get my stuff and I'll I'll come out here and try it. All right. Pretty nice. It's almost the same size as the iPhone, I think. I'm gonna jump on the Grom, give it a shot, try to put on a clinic, and then and then we'll have you on give it a shot as well. Fair warning, uh, rider beware, watcher beware. I'm not a pro, I don't know what I'm doing. Right at your own risk, do not try this at home. No $12 knee pads from Walmart <laughs> are not proper gear for this type of thing, but it's John's Moto Garage, you know, that's how we roll. So. Uh, let's jump on and give it a shot real quick, bro. Oh, don't stop there, don't stop there. Oh, no, I'm just checking the track, make sure there's no rocks or anything. Yuan's making his first attempts here, really just getting comfortable. The key starting out is just get yourself comfortable on the motorcycle, get a feel for the body. So you can see on the body position, his lower half's leaned down, but his upper half needs to, uh, his upper half needs to come over like that a little bit. And also where you look, you gotta have your head kind of turned up over, almost over your shoulder. Again, I'm not a pro, this is just kind of what I've, learned watching people like moto jitsu and screwing around all right so when you're like your bottom half is like correct position yeah. but your upper half is like not wanting to follow it so your upper half's up over the bike so you want to bring your upper half over there so imagine like do it parked right this yeah. just like with your feet down uh -huh. yeah okay. yeah and so imagine like your belly button and your eye should be looking the same way Imagine you have a third eye on your belly button, okay. and that should be. Do it though. It, it's like it's like a wheelie. Like yeah. the difference between not doing it and doing it is very small, and when you do it, it clicks. All right, you want attempting his first ever knee drag on the Honda Grom. I think his biggest problem is he does not have a good a good uh, trainer. All right, so he needs to get his upper body, like his chin, much lower. There he goes, he's getting a little closer. There you go. There you go, I think he's he's getting close. It's just gonna be committing to the lane. So here's the thing, there's videos of like 12 year olds doing this on, a, on 600cc and maybe even leader bikes, you know? So the big thing with these knee drags, and again, I'm not a pro or professional, I've just screwed around a little bit, but I've watched you know decent number of videos but the big make or break is is technique and body position so he needs to get 
leaned over the bars a little bit more and he's not looking the right way. See how his uh, right arm is kind of bent, it's not loose. He wants that right arm to be pretty loose, just kind of laying over the tank. And that chin should be almost all the way, his chin should be almost, almost like resting, not resting, but down near his left hand. Look, he's close, he's close. He's close, he needs to be looking into the circle though. Hey, you're close, dude. You're close, man. He's so dizzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're close, dude. With the only two things that you want to change. Because you're like this close. Okay. Which is a matter of just really a tiny bit more lean. Yeah. Uh, number one, really, like, right arm should be pretty loose over the tank. Yeah. Chin down. Because you're still up and your left arm is kind of bent, you know? Because, like, I don't know. I don't know it's if it's a little off. It's, you're, I mean, you're going to be down there, dude. You're going to be pretty okay. far down there. And um, so that, and then look, pretty much that, you know, just, okay. just all the way. You see, yeah, I mean, as far down as you can go. It, I, when you hit, I mean, like I said, you're about this close, and that, and a little lean is the difference. Okay. Hey, the other one I forgot to tell you, your head. Your head. Okay. I'm telling you, like, turn it to the side, man. Okay. You know, like, to the side, kind of looking into the circle. Yeah. But otherwise, you're close, dude. You there he goes, there he goes. That's the body position I'm looking for, bro. Turn that head in, turn that head in. Yep, yep, yep. Head in. He's really gotta turn his head in. Lean more, but you can pull it off. Get the head turned. Oh, that's it right there. That's it. <laughs> it's so hard, dude. Dude, you're close, bro. He's got to bend that left and bring his chin down. There he goes. He starts. There he goes. Like, if you would bend his left arm all the way. Yeah. Oh, there. That's it. That's it. I think he's getting it. I think he's getting it. Hey, that towards the end there, I could see you kind of went into it. Yeah. That's it. Your left arm is still like this. That's it. Yeah. So if you could bring that left arm all pretty much all the way over, yeah. that's that's it, man. I just feel like when I get that far, I feel like just bike's just gonna slide out. <laughs> you gotta just kind of trust it a little bit, you know. Like you saw, my back tire flipped out a slid a few times, um, especially on the right side, just because I'm not as comfortable on that side. Yeah. But just give it a little lean, man. When right, it, and right. and here's the thing, on this because you're going pretty slow. Your knee, when it's dragging, yeah. kind of props you up. Okay. Yeah, like it doesn't, but you should be good, man. Trust the process, bro. All right, apologize for the wind, you guys. He's got it. He needs to bend that left arm more. Just relax it. Loosey-goosey, loosey-goosey. Really bend it. Really bend that left arm and get up, down over it. We need, we need Bluetooth so I can give him pointers as I'm talking. See, he's still... There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. That's it. That's it. Right there. Right there. He'll, he'll, he'll do it for a split second and then he comes out of that position. That, that's it right there. That's where he needs to be. Look in and bend your arm and you got it. <laughs> he's just got to turn his head and bend his arm and he's got it. Turn your head and bend your arm, bro. Turn your, turn your head and bend your arm, bro. Turn your head and bend your arm. You're close, dude. You're close. Woo! Dude, my bad, bro. That's all right. 
<laughs> you alright dude? Yeah, I'm fine. Woo, thanks for these. Is the bike alright? Yeah. Let me see if it starts. It's just... Sometimes you just gotta let the gas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, valiant effort, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, I felt it. Yeah, it, it, you probably, what you did is when you touched, maybe you just got on the gas a little bit and that spun it out. <laughs> hey, didn't... All right, you on, you all right, bro? Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you have proper, proper yeah. gear. It's only twenty dollars. Hey, tell, explain to us what this is here. Yeah, I'm a sneaker guy. I don't want to mess up my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to buy like a hundred dollar leather piece. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you want to? Uh, he was close, man. We're not sure exactly what happened. He's gonna go home, analyze the footage. It could have been that he got scared. Could have been the rear tire slid out on him. You know, not a hundred percent sure. A little, a few different variables we're working with, but. You were close, bro. You were right there, and I, I'm confident if you were to put some more work in that you could pull it off. Uh, we're going to call it a day for now, though, right? Let's go pop some wheelie. Yeah, we're going to go do a wheelie session. Hopefully, we're a little bit safer doing that. <laughs> you guys, John's Moto Garage, uh, there you have it. The Honda Grom. Great bike. Probably not the best bike to be doing knee drags out in a, you know, cul-de-sac, but a fun, fun ride nonetheless. Am I right? Mm-hmm. All right, like and subscribe if you dig it. We'll catch you on the next one.